What up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'll make this video quick. We actually had a question in one of the comments from Julia about adding your equipment to your contract. Do you recommend doing it, yes or no? And my answer to that is no. The reason for this is I think that when we're starting now, that by adding all these different things to the contract that the client's gonna see a lot of value in it, that they're gonna see all this stuff and then we're gonna be able to justify our price. And the truth is, they don't care about any of that. The, the one thing the clients care about is results. So the problem with adding your equipment list to your contract is that if the client thinks your price is too high, all they're gonna start telling you now is like, oh, we don't need that, we don't need this, or oh, we don't want a gimbal, we don't want the, you know, this Zeiss lens, whatever the situation might be. So what do you guys should have on here? Scope of work. For us, you know, for this one, we're like, Tasca Studios will create one HD video for Riverbend Dentistry. Um, pretty much to say, we'll say like the video will include testimonials from clients, interviews with the dentist, and then the next thing that we'll do, we'll list you know, the deliverables. They're gonna get one high definition video, 30 seconds, one voiceover recording, uh, production crew, we're gonna storyboard and shot list, we're gonna shoot in one location, they're gonna get one music license, and that rate we're including video editing, and then they're gonna get three revisions, and then when the projects can be completed by. And then from there, we go into the agreement terms of like, you know, uh, when is the start, when is the end, the detailed scope of the video project, um, pretty much everything that goes in there, how we're gonna process the payment, how we're communicating with the client. You know, they have to communicate with us through email. They can't send us text messages asking for revisions and things like that. Changes that we're allowed to use the video to promote our own business. And then pretty much just, just a conclusion of like, they have any questions, you know, to be able to email me or contact me. And then the bottom of that, we, we get their signature. So we keep it very short, we keep it very simple. Uh, nothing crazy, but you know, I learned that earlier in my career when I put my whole equipment list on there, the clients start nitpicking the price and wanting me to remove things. And the way I tell them, it's kind of like a burger. You go to McDonald's, if you don't want the pickles or the lettuce, they're still gonna charge you five bucks for the burger one way or the other. So that's what we try to do. Do not try to justify your price just based on the extra equipment, but the extra value that you guys are gonna get that. So Julia, thank you for the question. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. And if you have any more questions, put them in the comment and I'll make more videos like this. Peace.